Satoshi Nakamoto is the pseudonym that created Bitcoin, and we have no idea who Satoshi Nakamoto is or was, whether Satoshi Nakamoto is alive or not, whether it's one person or two, whether it's ten people, whether it's a male, female, both, a group, who knows. We don't know if it's a nice person or a bad person. Let me ask you this. I'll, ask, I'll, I'll pause at the simple question, and let's see how many of you know the answer to this. The simplest shape connecting two points is a straight line. If you take two of these straight lines and you put them in parallel, they will intersect where? Nowhere. Great. Who was Euclid? Who is Euclid? Have you met Euclid? Do you know if Euclid was male, female, or a group of philosophers? Do you know if Euclid was a good man or an ass? <laughs> Maybe he was a really nasty person. Maybe he beat his wife. Maybe she beat her husband. <laughs> Maybe they all got together and beat each other because Euclid was a whole school of wrestling maniacs. <laughs> Let me ask you again. At what point do the two parallel lines intersect? How do you know? How do you know? Did you meet Euclid and make sure that since they were such a good person, they told you the truth? How do you know? You know because through a series of proofs right, that you studied in school, you are able to start with certain premises and from those arrive at conclusions that if they violated this particular axiom, created an absurd outcome. That logical reasoning process is called reductio ad absurdum. It's one of the basis of geometric proofs. You start with, what if these two lines intersect? And then you arrive at a conclusion that violates one of the other premises that you have in geometry. By constructing this framework of proofs, you arrive at the inescapable conclusion that, at least, in a three-dimensional space, that has the same rules that we understand. These axioms hold true not because Euclid told us they do, but because we have independently verified their truth. It doesn't matter who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Satoshi Nakamoto doesn't control the code. I know because I have read the code, and so have thousands of others. I understand the mathematical principles that underpin the operation of Bitcoin. It took me years to study and understand them, but now I not only understand them, I can build a system that replicates these mathematical proofs, and I will have no more control over that system than Satoshi Nakamoto has over Bitcoin. Because those mathematical truths can be proven correct, and they have certain implications. It does not matter who Satoshi Nakamoto is any more than it matters who Euclid is.